Hi guys, welcome to Hair Dryer Treatment. Today's video is going to feature me going to record a bit of the Sporting Council Ladies Development game against Burton Albion Development today. I'll also be interviewing a lot of the staff, a lot of the players as well, to give you a bit of a taster of how it is on match day for them. So yeah, tune in guys, I hope you enjoy it, and drop a comment to let me know what you think. Thanks guys. Right, so I'm joined with Liam here, the goalkeeping coach from the development side. How are you feeling for today's game, Liam? Really up for it. The goals and proper going for it as well. Energy in there has been absolutely brilliant and I'm hoping to get a good three points here. Fantastic. Obviously a disappointing result last week. They lost quite a heavy yeah. defeat as well. Do you think that the girls are ready to bench back this week? 100%. I've spoke to a few of them just all in there. They've been saying that they're really up for this. You know, game place is on, they're all prepared. The vibe's good, so I'm expecting a good three points here today. Fantastic, and obviously you're playing against Burton. Yep. How have they done so far this season? Uh, they've done all right. Last time we played them, we beat them 3-2, so it's in our favour back home as well. Oh, fantastic. But at the end of the day, you know, everyone's got to play on the feature, everyone's got to play for 90 minutes, so it's just yeah. a thing. And you've got a few changes this week in your team as well, haven't you? A few you? changes, yeah. Um, we've had a goalkeeper change because Justine's not very well, so we brought in Tony from the first team. But um, overall, the quality is really good from the development of the first as well, so Real. you can't so, knock it from either way. I'm going to stick it on you now. What do you think the score is going to be? What's your prediction? Oh, I can't do this. I want a clean sheet. Um, I'm going to go 2-0 to reserves. Real. So 2-0 Carlson. Yeah, 2-0 Carlson. Thanks, thanks, Liam. No thank problem. Thank you. thank you very much. Cheers. Right, I'm joined with Angie and Beth here from Carlson Development mm. Team. How are you guys feeling about today's game? I'll start with you, Angie. How are you feeling? Um, I think we're pretty confident about it. Um, we need to get a win because we haven't... Had disappointing results recently, but um, yeah, looking to get a win, and uh, I'm, I think I'm quietly confident about it. Real, Robbie, be you Beth. Yeah, like Angie said, I'm very, very confident for the game because we've got such a good team. Bringing some first team players in because we've missed some of our reserves. I'm really looking forward to today because I reckon we're going to get a couple of goals. Real, obviously a disappointing result last week. I'm sure you girls are buzzing to get back on the pitch and bounce back. What's the general atmosphere being like in the change rooms today? It seemed really positive for me walking in. Yeah, it's positive. Like I think we, we bond well as a team, and uh, yeah, we're we're disappointed with recent weeks, but I think in general we've been, you know, every week we we come in with a positive attitude, and uh, it seems it seems good today. From and obviously you trained on Tuesday. What was it like training? Did everyone look sharp and up for the game today? Yeah, definitely. But I mean, at the end, eleven v eleven game at the end, that we did really really well. And to be honest, if we can bring that into today's game, I think we will. Uh, Fantastic. And you play against Burton today. You played them before, I believe you beat them 3 2. Yeah, yeah how, how have they been this season? Have they had a good season or? Um, they've they've been yeah, they're quite they're rooted to the bottom, so um, but obviously we don't wanna be overconfident and we don't wanna be uh, yeah, we wanna make sure that we get a result out of it. But um, yeah, the the game was closer than we thought it would be last time. Uh, and hopefully it won't be as close this time we'll be able to. Well, but I'd like to wish you both all the best. Fingers crossed three points today for Kelsa. And yeah, go and get a goal if you can as well. Good luck, girls. Thank you. Thank you.
I'm very impressed with the attitude of the players, to be fair. We needed that. It was a good to bounce back from not so good performance last week. Um, they did everything I asked of them, which they executed tactics spot on. I couldn't ask for more, to be fair, today. Yeah, brilliant. And as I walked in the change rooms before the game, everyone looked really confident, everyone looked up for it and buzzing. Did you get that same sense of positivity like this before you started earlier? Definitely, definitely. Um, I tried to work on myself a little bit today. And I came with a different attitude, I was a bit more positive. Um, we got music on straight away, got everybody up for it as soon as we could. And I think my attitude and the way I presented myself um, rubbed off onto the players. Yeah. Definitely came into the game a lot more positive, a lot more fired up, they wanted to win. Yeah, and this now surely sets the precedent for what you want for the remainder of the season then. Great positive performance, great attitude from all the girls, and surely you should be pushing for the next game. I'd hope so. I'd hope Real. so. Thanks for talking to me. No worries, thank I know you, you didn't want to. <laughs> well, I'm joined with Stacey and Tony, both played in the game today. A nice 13 0 win for the development team. I'll start with you, Stace. How did you think that went? Oh, brilliant. So we couldn't have played any better or asked for any more really from the guys. Um, we had a bad performance uh, last week, but we just completely let that go and just had a uh, smashing performance this week. Fantastic. What about you, Tom? Yeah, it was brilliant for the girls. Kept it up for second half as well. Um, and keeping the clean sheet, so it was good. Real. Everyone seems to be buzzing. I mean, before the game, it was really positive in the change room, but especially now, everyone seems to be radiant. Hopefully, we can take that into the game next week. Who are you playing next week? Uh, it's Cardiff. Cardiff, so yeah, if it's nil nil last time, we've got a draw in there, a quality side, so hopefully, we can get a result against them as well next week. Fantastic, thanks for your time, and I wish you all the best. In Thank, the you. Game. Thank you. I subscribed then. Did you get a notification? Not yet, no. Okay. Can we get a video? Sprint, oh no, it's finished. So there you have it guys, that is a bit of a taster as to what it's like on match day at Sporting Castle Ladies Development. A nice 13 0 win today. Fantastic performance, I must admit they played some very decent stuff, scored some great goals. And a big shout out to Brit as well who scored a hat trick, so well done to her, takes the match ball home with her, kind of. But yeah, well done guys, a really good game I can't fault them and thank you guys for tuning in as well i hope you like this kind of video it's good for you guys to get involved and have a taste of female football if you haven't already please do subscribe to hair dry treatment for more content like this as well as obviously other content to do with manchester united and men's football as well um yeah thanks for tuning in guys take care and i really do appreciate your support thank you so luna what did you think about the development game today did you enjoy it 